We want everyone to know that black lives matter. All lives won't matter until black lives matter. We're tired of the injustice that's going around, the systematic racism. And if this is in any way we can show our support and help the contribution, then that's what we're going to do. And that's what we're here for today. Saturday marked nine days since Charlotte joined the nationwide call for justice following the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor by police officers. UNC Charlotte students braved the heat and humidity to lead a three-mile march in peaceful solidarity with the movement. Actually, before we even start, I'm going to make an announcement and say if you're here for anything other than peace, leave. We don't want you here. You understand that, that there is frustration, but at the end of the day, my idea is we need to come together rather than, rather than divide. Organizers reached out to campus police chief Baker, who arrived out of uniform to stand with the Charlotte community. Chief Baker was very helpful. Uh, he helped set up a lot. Um, he even, what did he do? Uh, he got us in connection with uh, people that could help us even further. Um, he even, we asked him if he could come, not in uniform, but as normal as us, because uh, he is also part of the community. Uh, he had other officers call that he's having other officers come and they will be in normal clothes they will not be in uniform because they are also part of this community the school experience defines who you are you get a lot of your values while you're at college you define who you are and if the school is helping to create positive values, then I think that's very important. The event came to a close at Pop Martin Student Union, where speakers encouraged the crowd to continue the fight long after the march is over. I would urge you guys to find out about the end qualified immunity bill. Definitely do that. And what you can do is you can go on change.org. You can there's many places where you can vote to get that bill passed. And what that does is that knocks that qualified immunity down. If you, if you do something wrong as a state official, you get prosecuted just like everybody else. Let the law enforcement system know, let the government know that we're not, stand, we're not tolerating racism anymore. This is it. This is it. You know what I'm From Niner Times, I'm Elizabeth McGuire.